Today's video is about driving fails, how to not drive in bad drivers. As usual, there's a bonus video at the end. Whilst traveling along the Bass Highway, Robert Driver caught sight of an oncoming Scania Prime Mover towing a chip bin that was wildly out of control coming down the hill. Just a late morning drive on the interstate when I get to witness some fantastic, multiple lane-changing stupidity firsthand. Not see a wreck. Not see a wreck. Oh, it didn't happen. Wow. So it's, it's crazy. So a Camry, like I'm in the third lane out of five lanes. There's a. This guy's gonna. I've got this all on dash cam right now. <laughs> uh, okay. So anyway. Crash happened on the above date and time. God knows what happened here. Guy and Mustang just flipped out of nowhere. I called 911 and stayed on scene. I checked on driver to make sure he was okay. Airbags deployed and to me, it seems like he smoked a lot of marijuana. Also told 911 that it smells like marijuana in the car. I called for court date, but I couldn't go since I had COVID. This video was created for educational, informational, and entertainment purposes only. Feel free to leave your comments under the video. Des Moines, Iowa, gave the video to the guy in the white car. He was very grateful. Wow. Why would they think that was okay? I don't know. Idiot in Black Ram busting through the off-ramp median. San Bernardino, California. Our vehicle was in a left turn lane and stopped for a red light. The truck came out of a street that prohibits commercial vehicles because of how narrow and tight the streets are. The truck driver made a wide right turn and struck the left front of our vehicle, causing about $3,000 in damages to our vehicle. The other driver seemed apologetic afterward, and there was no contact between cars, so I kept driving. It happened in Poland. What's that? So that cool. Driver of Nissan March decided he wanted to occupy our lane and exit to 15th Avenue.
truck suddenly turned on his blinker and then cut me off to pass a car. while traveling on Little Cove Art in Huntsville, Alabama. I witnessed a white car cut off a maroon Ram truck pulling a red trailer. Apparently, this enraged the Ram driver, as he then pulled alongside the white car and started trying to force it off the road. The driver of the white car only let its blinker flash once or twice before cutting in front of the Ram. With very little room to spare between the Ram and the car, it was already following. I believe this was a vehicle malfunction. No taillights came on until after the spin was initiated. 75 NB Tennessee. It's a fucking Luna, oh, you're a fucking twat. Always an Audi. Always an Audi. Go on, go for it this time. In the bonus video, what are your thoughts? Write in the comments.